Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. From Parliament to the streets of Kingston, there were tears and raw grief today following the passing of former Prime Minister Edward Siaga. Siaga, who turned 89 today, died on his birthday in a Miami hospital. And Prime Minister Andrew Holness says Siaga's body, accompanied by his widow Carla, will be flown home at the earliest possible date. He also said the former Prime Minister will be accorded a state funeral. Meanwhile, in Siaga's former Kingston Western constituency, residents were preparing to celebrate his 89th birthday today when news broke of his death, leaving them devastated. Well, I'm feeling sad, but you know, they have to just put the Lord in front and say, well then, his time is up. But him live on, him there, him there will be. Legacy life. Yeah, legacy life, up and running, see him. In other news, a policeman has been arrested for last night's murder of his 45-year-old wife, Janet Hardy Lawrence. A voice note purportedly from the husband has been making the rounds on social media. Wife, I told me to make my life. I'm going to go and tell me to make my life. I got a station last night report. Police didn't come from Miami. I got a couple of Johnson. I'm going to talk to you, man. You man, lick off the door to get money. I'm to make my life. I'm to make my life. And this morning, I'm going to kill her. I'm sorry, but I'm going to go. I'm not going to see your face judgment. So I love you all, well, I don't know. So go. One love. In your currency trading today, one U.S. dollar was being sold for $133.62, the British pound sterling for $172.23, and the Canadian dollar for $99.04. In your weather forecast, Wednesday morning will be partly cloudy with isolated showers over northeastern parishes. In the afternoon, there will be scattered showers and thunderstorms across the island. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.